Hey there, today I want to show you how to make your own rope which can interact with other objects. So let's start right away by creating a rope in Blender. For this we can use the cylinder object. We just scale it down on the sides and scale it up on the z-axis. Let's also move it up so we can see it better. Now we change the view to the side view by pressing the X on the camera view. Now we have to add some bones to the rope. We can do this with the armature. So add armature. To see the bones inside the rope, we go to the object properties and toggle in front. Now we can see the first bone. I want a rope which is hanging downwards. So I move the first bone up and rotate it so it points downwards. Now we have to switch to the edit mode by pressing tab and then select the end of the bone. Now you can press E to create a new bone. So continue pressing E, extract the new bone and click to create it till you reach the end of the rope. Keep in mind, the more bones you have, the more complex your object will be. The more complex it is, the smoother the animation is, but Unity also have to calculate more information. So when you are done with the bones, we have to connect our cylinder object with our bones. We can do this by first select the cylinder, then the armature and then press Ctrl P. So here we set the parent with armature deform with automatic weights. This will create a vertex group in our cylinder with all the bones. And it will set the parent of the cylinder to the armature. So for the cylinder we have one more thing to do. We have to loop cut it so we can bend it. So go to edit mode and then loop cut about 20 times. And now we can export everything as an FBX file. Just make sure you select the armature, the mesh, apply the transform and under armature toggle the add leaf bones. In Unity you can add the FBX file to any folder and it's ready to use. You can simply drag and drop it into the scene. In the hierarchy you should see the armature and the cylinder. If you want you can change the material right away. This is just a simple texture from textures.com, so don't mind if it's not perfect. So for now the rope wouldn't be bending, because we have to connect the bones to each other. So to work with them we first have to open up the hierarchy. We can do this one by one or with alt click. So now we can select all bones and then add a component which is called hinge join. This will connect all bones together or to be more specific, the rigid body of every bone, which is also added by this component. So now it gets a bit annoying, because it is not connected automatically. We have to connect the rigid body of every bone from the previous bone. So we start by selecting the end bone and then drag in the previous bone and so on. So if we enter the play mode, we already have a working rope. If you drag the end of the rope, it starts swinging. And if you drag the middle of the rope, it swings too. And also, if you drag it more, it swings more. But sometimes you don't want to drag the rope or influence it by the script. You want the rope to be influenced by other objects. So with this setup, it doesn't work. So we have to make some changes. So to fix that, it is very simple. Just select all bones again and then add a capsule collider. We have to adjust the height and the radius of the collider till it fits our rope. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. And you can also use other colliders, but for me this works well. So now we have a bunch of colliders in our rope. This should do it. We can now enter the play mode and drag around the sphere. The rope will bend around the sphere. And you can let the rope swing by smashing the sphere into it. So I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.